Hey guys, welcome back to another uh, live stream. Uh, in this one, we're going to do we're going to attempt <laughs> to use the extend the gameplay debugger. Luckily, there's documentation on this, so maybe it won't be too hard. But you know, we'll see. Uh, so basically, the gameplay debugger, uh, just to show you in editor, um, you have the the uh, apostrophe key. Uh, so you have you know, nav mesh, AI, behavior tree, abilities, EQS, perception. Uh, I want to add a category. Uh, I want to, you know, let's say number six. Um, that shows the gameplay attributes in their va their current value. Um, uh, just so I could better track for debugging purposes, just in case, you know, in our game, if we have an attribute and we're seeing some weird stuff happening or something like that, we could easily debug it. We could see what value it is. Um, so I think that'll be super duper useful. Um, I'm kind of curious, real quick, uh, if we can change the controls for that. Like, um,. Because it's apostrophe uh, debug. Let's see. Uh, no, 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 no. No. <laughs> Show gameplay debug. Um. Is there a way? I guess we could change it, right? Um. Let's see, we'll make it home, I guess. And let's see if that works. <laughs> no. <laughs> that doesn't work. Show on screen debug. Let's, uh, let's try that on home. What is the. <laughs> no. Um, can we change it to like up arrow? <laughs> no, <laughs> it moves. Um, up oh, that goes into code. <laughs> Oops. Um, okay. Um, no, let's not do F12, like F6. Does that do anything? No. So I guess this is, uh, this is not what I thought it was gonna be. Uh, gameplay, show gameplay debug. Hmm, I guess not. Um, Okay, let's forget about that, I suppose. Um, well, you can change the screenshot save directory. That's pretty sweet. Um, there's play. Play credentials and viewport. What's an it? That's interesting. Okay. Uh, let's try to do the actual C++. <laughs> um, so I think what we need to do, I don't know why I closed the editor. I think I'll, I'll have to open it up again. Um, it says we have to extend from specific classes. Um, so we need a, we need custom classes inherited from the you gameplay debugging component class and the, uh, a gameplay debugging HUD component class, but I looked into the editor, you know, when you can create a new C++ class, and I didn't see those options, so I don't know if I need to just create, like, basically a, a basic class um, and just extend it manually, or for something else uh, to do for that. Uh, so we're gonna, we're gonna just try uh, and uh, relax uh, about it. Take it nice and easy. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Is, is the game open? Okay, it's doing something. Okay. Good. 
because we might, well, I guess we'll, we'll copy as much of this as we can, this code, but we'll try to put in our own data. Um, okay, so editor is loading, so that's good. We just don't need to replicate anything because again, this is not gonna be a multiplayer game, so we really don't have to be concerned about that. Okay, almost done. Um, all right, I'm gonna put the documentation on my other monitor. Uh, I'll, I'll also link the documentation when, when I turn this into a YouTube uh, video. I'll put the link to this documentation in the description just so you're aware of it. So new C++ class. So again, it says we have to take from gameplay debugging HUD component, for example. But as you can see, that doesn't exist. So maybe it just needs to be an empty uh, class. Uh, so let's call it gameplay debugger. We'll call that, oh, we'll do the first one, which is uh, so gameplay debugging component is going to be the first one. So hero gameplay debugging component. So let's create that. That's probably going to take a few minutes. Excuse me. And based on this documentation, it's the gameplay debugging component that's gonna be done first. And it seems to be pretty simple. Um, basically includes the gameplay debugging component header file. And it extends from you gameplay debugging component. And then it uses a virtual uh, void function uh, for collecting basic data. And then it also has a, a property that it's replicating the test data. I don't know if we need to replicate that. I don't even think we need to have that. I think we just need to collect the attributes. Um, okay, so let's get rid of all of this. So yeah, first is the .h. So it gives us, uh, let's, let's just nuke everything out. We don't need to have a constructor or a deconstructor right now. Um, so it, we ha it, pragma once, yeah, okay. Um, it includes, uh, um, so gameplay debugging component. So hash include gameplay, uh, Debugging component. No, that's the hero. Hmm. So gameplay debugger. Hmm. So is this is this? Hmm. Is this documentation like not up to date? What else is there? Let me look at the HUD component. Gameplay debug. There's the types. All right, let me just boop. Do I have the hash include? Is, is it like engine and then gameplay? Debugger? No. <laughs> Is there a debug? Okay, so it pretty much is not existent. The gameplay debugger is a useful is useful for watching real-time data at runtime, even on clients and network games using replication. 
It works in play and editor, simulated in editor, and standalone game sessions, and all the data displays and overlay on the game before. The system provides a framework that can be extended to enable debugging of uh, specific game data. Okay. Oh, okay, so the gameplay debugger module has to be added to project dependency modules to be activated and usable. Okay. That would have been nice to know. <laughs> um, gameplay debugger module. Okay, how do we add that? UE4 add gameplay debugger module. Okay, there's his wiki. So, all right, so getting started. Uh, okay, that doesn't give me much information. Let's see here. Let me pull this one up. Okay. Modify the dot. Yeah, here we go. Um, all right, let's first... Uh, delete our, let me close out of Visual Studio. Uh, hero, source, B room, gameplay debugger, get rid of that. Um, then hero, and then get rid of binaries. Generate Visual Studio project files. Um. <clears throat> okay, is I guess it's done, right? Yep. Okay. Let's open up Visual Studio. Okay. I don't like how it doesn't load that. <laughs> um, let's close that up. No, we don't need that. Stop. Uh, game sync. Uh, retry. Boom. Open in Visual Studio. <sighs> okay. I don't like how the Unreal documentation doesn't mention how to enable the module, but all right. <laughs> So let's open the editor. Actually, no, we don't need to open up the editor yet. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Uh, build, stop, 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 cancel. <laughs> Thank you. Let's open up the build.cs. There we go. So it says to copy that. Oops. Um, I'm guessing in that public. In, Let's just see. 
Whoops. Okay. Um, let's just make sure everything else is okay. Nothing specific. Yeah. Let's see if that compiles. No. <laughs> awesome. Okay, so the definitions property has been deprecated. Please use public definitions. Okay. Public definitions. Anything else? Okay, let's try again. Okay, great. great. Um, the name UE build configuration does not exist in the current context. Um, okay. Um, okay, that doesn't really give me anything. Um, let's see. You need four. Okay, 419. Um, so I'm not sure if this is the right place to ask. For the two days, I'll check this out. Let me look over there. I used to do this on 418 early versions in my target.cs. The old target.cs and build.cs formats have been deprecated for several builds now. You should have had warnings. Your best way is to create a new project from launcher and copy its target and build.cs formats. Um, you can you can use the following check to find out if it's built in the editor. Um, okay. Um, wow, well, okay. Okay, can I just do this? Probably not, yeah. Hero does not contain a definition Um, okay. Ah. Um. Hero does not contain. If I just do that, I doubt it. Yeah. Um, can I just do that? Uh, 
Okay, everything else is okay, it seems. So that's good. So let's just go back here. Okay. Okay, he has the source code as well. Here's the .cs. Um, so public target info. What's the Orpheus module? Do I have a hero module? No, I don't. What is your hero module? Or... Hmm. Huh, okay. Interesting. Okay, it's doing a lot of compiling. <laughs> Let's just hope it does everything correctly. Okay. Okay. Awesome. Uh, let's. Uh, I should. I'll link this as well. But let's go back. Um, oh, whoops. Okay. Open the header. Okay. So we got to. So public, so F gameplay category. Do we get those options now? Gameplay. No. Uh, debug. Um, no. All right. Um, yeah. uh, so when you're done with that, add a new C++ that in inherits the U object inside your module and name it, whatever, okay. You're going over here for instructions. Uh, so file, new C++ class. Is U object on here? No. Uh, you, yeah. Next, gameplay. Debugger, and we'll call it Hero Gameplay Debugger. I'll add it. Let's get rid of that stuff. Okay, so in the dot .h, <clears throat> uh, and erase the code that the editor has written for you and declare the following class. Okay. 
<laughs> delete what it's given me. <laughs> so hash pragma once. Hash include core up. Core minimal. And then we're doing if with gameplay debugger hash include gameplay debugger category at least that stuff is existing um, now it's doing some declarations uh, we probably will need class F gameplay debugger canvas context uh, let's stop playing an editor um, and we're probably going to need our player maybe but okay let's just go one thing at a time um, so he's creating a struct we don't really need a struct we can just start declaring the class f gameplay debugger category underscore hero public f gameplay debugger category okay um so he has his data in an under protected but we don't have anything just yet Let's create our constructor. Oops, so there's our constructor. Uh, we have to create an instance. I guess. <laughs> uh, so make instance. Uh, collect data and then there's a draw data oh, I know why that if is fucking up we need to ha make sure we have an end if at the end there we go okay um so we could do probably class A and then hero player controller. All right? Is that how we named it? Yeah. Um, where is this declared? Yeah, okay, so it takes a, are we not extending from a player controller? Yeah, we are. So that should be okay. What's wrong? Okay, let's let's leave it alone, I suppose. Um, but he also he forward declares those act, the actor and a player controller, so we'll probably need to do that too. Um, I'll be right back. I need to use the bathroom.
Okay, I'm back. Okay, so... Uh, we have all the functions that we need. So now we can go and implement them. So it's just just the debugger in the source file. So yeah, define. Okay, great. Collect data, yeah. And draw data. Okay. So we have our functions. Um Um, we have to include our character. Your hero, player character. Maybe we not, might need to include our attributes. We'll just include those two for now. So, uh, so in the constructor, all he's doing is setting B show only with debug actor to false. I don't know what this does. Draw a category only when debug actor is present. Okay. So gameplay debugger category, single category of gameplay debugger tool responsible for gathering and presenting data. Uh, blah, blah, should be compiled and used only when the module is included. So every category class needs to be placed in, in the block. Okay. So collect data function will be called. Okay. Check AI module dot CPP for examples. Let's look at AI module for example. If it can find it. <laughs> Thank you. Um, Probably this one. Uh, wow. Okay. If with editor doing all that, so it has a module override. And if with editor, wow. Okay. It's registering quite a few things. Hmm, okay. Doesn't really help me because I don't know what I'm doing. So there's that. <laughs> um, so back in the here debugger. Uh, so the make instance. Did I not? Oh, I didn't do that one. Yep. Where's make instance? There you go. Return. And we, yeah, it's make shareable. Make share. New F gameplay debugger category hero. Let me just copy that. And that should be that. Uh, I need to do that. Okay. Now collect data. This is the important one. So he has if debug actor. We're going to get a reference to our character. So a hero player character. Player character equals cast, right? 
a zero player character, debug actor, and then if player character. Um, let's see, player character, ability system component, so like attributes, so get all attributes. So it returns a TRA of F gameplay attribute. So we need to make a TRA. So in our debugger, we'll do the under protected. Um, let's see. I think I need to include attributes. Can I forward declare it? F, uh, so class gameplay attribute? Um, I don't know. Is that a thing? <laughs> let's see. Okay, so let's see what our attributes are. So that's an attribute set. Um, I don't know if that's valid, but okay. Um, so T R A. F in play attribute. Uh, player attributes. Is that okay? <laughs> Doesn't look like it's okay. Now it looks like it's okay. Maybe we don't need that class. But let's include the ability, the gameplay ability system component. And let's hope everything is okay. So now player attributes equals that. What's wrong? So that's a TRA of F gameplay attribute, TRA. Uh, do I need to? Do something like this. Maybe. And then let's hope that's right. I don't know if it is, but we'll assume it is. Uh, give me just a second. <laughs> Now, now at the drawing data part. Um, so test print with white text. Uh, uh, before you attempt to build your project. Which, okay, so we gotta draw the data, so. Um, we have to do a for loop, so so for uh, attribute player attributes. Uh, maybe I don't need to do that. What's wrong with this? Uh, 
Oh, do I have to do? Okay, F gameplay attribute. Attribute. Um, we have to print. Uh, so, canvas context dot print f we'll do green so f color green text um how do we want to write this um Uh, we want to do that and then something like that. Then uh, attribute dot uh, attribute name, and then attribute dot get gameplay attribute data dot. Like a value, um, gets the current value of an attribute. Um, I don't know if this is right. Um, I guess we should check also if the attribute is valid. Um, do we do that in the CPP? No. Do we do that in the player? Yeah, is valid and it needs the thing. Okay. Um, I don't know. I guess we should. Um, before we do the for loop, we should also make so canvas context dot print. F, F color, uh, we'll do yellow, and do the text, uh, player, so we'll just call it attributes, and then new line, maybe? Let's see if new, that, is that, did that break that? Uh, I don't know. That's fine, yes, that's okay. But now the for loop is broken because we gotta do that. Oops. Okay. Um, what's wrong? Expected a thing. There is one. Oh. There we go. So that should be okay. 
fingers crossed, of course. So now before you attempt to build your project, make sure that your character class is marked with the appropriate API macro. Otherwise, you will encounter a linker error. Special thanks to whatever for this help on this one. Okay, so let's go to our character. I guess it has to be our .h. So class, so GD block post API. So I guess it has to be hero API. So that's fine. It already has hero API. So it should be okay. So moreover, don't forget to add the health and max damage properties to the character somewhere. And the header files. Okay. So the last things we need to do is to tell our module to register our custom gameplay debugger category on its startup. Moreover, we need to tell our module to unregister our category if it's shut down. To do that, navigate to your module source file. Um. Is there a hero module? Ah, no, that's game mode. I thought it said module. Um, where is this? Orpheus module. Uh, I, where's he doesn't really say anything about how what to do with that. Let's look at the source code. So Orpheus module. So, it doesn't really say how to create this module. It's not under config. Um, whoops. I guess, uh, I guess we have to create our own. Let's see if this builds. Because then we need to create a module. Bum, bum. Because, yeah, after we do that, we should be able to compile. Um, we should have the category. And we might have to restart the editor. Okay, we're almost done. I just gotta hope this compiles. <laughs> <Oof. laughs> Seeing how much it's taking, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. <sighs> so I'll we'll let this chill. I just don't know how this module works. I'm 
but looking at the that build that CS should give me a clue. Maybe. Um No, it doesn't. <laughs> Crap. Is this a function? Let's try again. Um Okay. Still no. Uh Do we not need that? Let's see. <laughs> Still no? Okay, great. How about like that? Because if that's still wrong, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, still wrong. Um, do we not need that? We'll try a couple different things. Left of get numeric value. Can, okay, well, can I just do get numeric value? It takes in the attribute set. Um, okay, let's first worry about just listing the attributes names. Then we'll worry about the value, right? Let's see what errors we get here. Okay, no errors. <laughs> cool. Um, so in our build, so we got that and then public hero. So we got, hmm. So the dot h is a module interface. Okay. Pa 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 pa. Ah. Now let's see if we can create a new C++ class uh, module. Okay, that's not a thing. Uh, so we wanna do an object, I suppose. Go all the way to the top, object. Choose folder. Um, gameplay debugger, we'll do that. And what did he call this? Um, hero debug module. Let's see. Uh, ah. Uh, 
Ugh. This stuff is so confusing. But again, I'm not that, I'm not that good of a programmer, so that's probably why it's confusing. But that's showbiz. Okay, we don't need that documentation. Ba -ba. Oh, excuse me. I really hope we get this right. That'd be nice. Uh, no, I keep open. I keep opening Photoshop. Cause it's next to OBS. <laughs> so now Photoshop's gonna open, and I gotta close that. Mm. Oh, God. Well, at least it's, no, is this opening on stream? I, I can't tell. No, it's not. It's opening on the other monitor. That's good. Close. Like it. Boom, ba -doom. Um, yeah, I also want to add a category for gameplay tags. Once we get to that point, let's worry about attributes for now. Um, I don't know what kind of tags we would want, though. Whatever. Okay. So now we have module. Let's stop running. Uh, we don't need our character open anymore, I don't think. Okay, so our module.h. Let's see what the code says. Uh, pragma once. Uh, we only need... Uh, include uh, module whoops do we want the IntelliSense to work please <laughs> that's fine don't worry about it module manager Modules, module manager, thank you. Uh, now he's saying declare log category extern. Uh, we'll just call this hero module. I'm not sure, I don't know if it, all, all. So I don't know if hero module, it needs to be labeled like that, or if it needs to be called hero debug module. So we'll do hero debug module for now, just so it matches this. And then, uh, class F, a uh, hero debug module public i module interface public uh, we can just copy all this it's only two functions okay now let's Get the CPP. Uh, create definition. Uh, 
Create that mission. Okay. So hash include the bug module, blah, 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 yes, so that's good. And then define log category, Ugh, yeah. hero debug module for now. Um, so then he's doing if with gameplay debugger, hash include, Gameplay bugger dot h, then hash include hero. Whoops. Uh, gameplay debugger. Hero gameplay debugger, and then hash and if hash define. Lock text namespace uh, and then what is it? Okay. Um Notify category is changed. I don't know if we can do all that. Okay, I don't know. I'm gonna just write what it's writing. So startup module, yeah, okay. So he puts in a UV log. Uh, hero debug module. Warning text. Uh, hero debug module has started, and then if with gameplay debugger, um, I gameplay, whoops, I gameplay debugger, gameplay debugger module, equals I gameplay debugger get don't know if that's valid <laughs> or not but let's keep going uh, gameplay debugger module dot red dot register category We'll call it this uh, hero player attributes, or just uh, uh, hero character attributes. Ah, we'll just call it attributes. Nice and short. Um, I gameplay debugger f on get category create static. Oh my god, that's a long, long, long line. Uh, F gameplay debugger category. Let me see. Is that hero dot make instance? Um, E gameplay. Wow. Okay, that's completely wrong. E gameplay. Debugger. Category state. Enabled. In game and simulate. Okay. We'll worry about the error in a second. Let's just do the last line. Uh, gameplay debugger module dot notify K 
categories changed. Hash and div. Okay. Should get rid of that error in a second. Hopefully. Um. Okay, there we go. Now on shutdown. We're going to do some similar things. We're going to do a UE log. Um, what? And then what? Yeah. Uh, hero debug module. Warning. Text. Uh, hero debug module has shut down. Okay. Hash if with gameplay debugger. Um, if I gameplay debugger is available, I gameplay debugger gameplay debugger module equals I yeah the same thing dot get okay then gameplay debugger module dot unregister category no we don't need that uh, so Orpheus custom category um, so we're, we have register category so we have it called attributes so we got to do it the same thing attributes And then we gotta do the end if. Okay. Then undefine the light uh, namespace. So undefine. Undef is the word. Undef. Uh, lock. Let's just copy that namespace. That's all we need to do. And then implement module uh, what's the name of this module F what F hero debug module and the, where, where's getting Orpheus module from Orpheus module so define category Orpheus module Okay. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Sorry, I just got to check something. Okay. Okay. Now, from what I can tell, we have to add um, to our build.cs. So he has public class uh, Orpheus module module rules. So we have that. Then he has public Orpheus module. But he has that nonsense. So I don't know if this is right. Um, so let me copy this just in case we break anything. Okay. So now instead of public Oh, so we got to do this. So public 
Uh, public. Uh, hero debug module. Um, don't know if that's going to be right. Target info. Target. Um, then we could do uh, public include paths dot add range. Uh, new string uh, it's gonna be what um, hero gameplay debugger hero debug module I don't think that's right um let's do that and then private include paths dot add range new string then it's the same thing and then public dependency module names Um, I don't know if I need to include anything there. We'll leave that alone, I guess. And then we have the debugger stuff, and that's it. Um, so we've done everything else. Let's see if it can compile. <laughs> I doubt it. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. So that's wrong immediately. So hero.build.cs method must have a return type. What is wrong? So public public include dot, pa, include pass dot add range. Do I let's just take out this final one. No, that's still wrong. Okay. What method? Like, why is this something? Um. Okay, so declaration is incompatible with flock. Why is that wrong? Um So declare log category extern. Um. Okay, let's. Well, 
Let's grab this stuff back. Um, oh. probably still gonna get a compile error because I don't know what I'm doing, but we'll see. Oh, it's doing something. <laughs> Okay, still failed. <laughs> Let's see. Wow, okay. So multiple definitions found. So, <laughs> so there's hero.cpp. Um, okay. Maybe it's an, hmm. So we have our debugger, okay. We have this. Maybe I don't need to do this. I keep. Initialize module already defined in hero debug. Um, maybe I could just do hero debug module. I don't know if that's right. Yeah, no. <laughs> Um, hero debug module. I think maybe like this, maybe this is what I need. No. Um, still gonna get an error. What's wrong? Initialize module already defined. Um, maybe I can just do this, um, in hero. Uh, does he include anything else? No. Whoops. Hmm. That's upsetting. Hmm. Wait, our, our debug category, I think it's missing something. Yeah, I forgot to include something real quick. Uh, if with gameplay debugger, 
hash include debug render scene proxy.h. And then there's a end if at the end here. So that's that. Uh, Unrelated, still gonna get problems. Am I missing like a pragma once anywhere? Pragma once. Um, declaration is incompatible with F log category, hero debug module. Hero declared at line six. Why? Um, Why is this? <laughs> um. um. Pragma once, include module manager. <laughs> Everything seems legit. Um. <sighs> what does this build.cs look like? Because he's got a, this build.cs, which does a bunch of stuff. But then he also has another build.cs. So maybe that's what I'm doing wrong. Let's get rid of that. Let's just see if this builds. It should build, but you know, I don't think it will. <laughs> Ugh, why? Same thing? Yeah. Um. Ah, uh, gameplay debugger. Can I add a new item? Um, is there a dot cs that I can do? Um, let's see. Hero dev, hero source. Do that and we'll call it hero debug module dot 
build.cs. Okay. And it needs to do this. A couple things we need to change. Uh, so his, his includes GD blog post. And we should just need to include hero. So we got hero. Uh, let me uh, let me open his up again. So so his module does that and that. Uh, we gotta change that. So gameplay debugger. I think so. Hero slash gameplay debugger. I don't know if that's gonna be right. Um, public dependency module names. I think that's okay. Uh, we might get an error about B developer tools. And that's okay. We can always get rid of that if we need to. Uh, and then uh, we go back to our actual build module. And we do pretty much everything is the same, uh, except we don't need to do this anymore. And we just need to include hero debug module. Maybe that's it. Um, let's try. Perfect. <laughs> Almost immediately, it's like, no, I don't like what you just did. <laughs> uh, could not find a definition for module. Um, oh, I got to change that public class hero debug module. I don't know if this is going to work either. No. Hmm. What is wrong? I don't know. So Unreal Build Tool, public class. So we have Hero Debug Module. Is that how he named it? He's calling it Orpheus module. And I'm calling it hero debug module. Um, do I have to do like a full rebuild? I don't know. I don't understand this stuff. We have hero editor. Okay, so it still fails. Um.
there's a README. Is this the full tutorial I was just looking at? Yeah. Uh, So he has, no. Let me just see. Oh, we st oh yeah, we still need to do public definitions. Public, public. That's not going to fix anything, I don't think. Uh, let's try again. It's probably going to fail. Okay, so hero editor. Maybe there's like extra module names dot add. Hero debug module. Let's just see if that does anything. Nope. <laughs> okay, so that expects that. But this also expects that. Okay. Whoops. <laughs> I cannot find definition. I don't I really don't know. Clean. Rebuild. Uh, I doubt it's still gonna work. Or it's it's going to work. It never did work. So that's not a thing. Um. That's that. Does it have to be a module? It says, uh, according to this comment, So gameplay debugger. Hmm. Um. There's more details in the engine. So, is there like a all module? <laughs> so, AI module dot build dot CS. Oh, 
There's so much. <laughs> Sorry. Um, what the hell? Uh, so it's got classes, private, and public. Do I have to separate it out into public, private? So where's runtime? So runtime. No. Ah, runtime. AI module. Private. Let's see. AI module log. Uh, AI module. Oof. There's an AI module dot H. Um, Jesus. Oh. <laughs> um. There's so much and I don't know what I'm doing. Um. Ha <sighs> This is so confusing. Okay. Let's see if we can have our game compiled again. Uh so hero.buildcs, we're good there. Uh hero debug module. Okay, let's so hero target, we don't, we can't do that anymore. Uh, we can't do that anymore. Hero build. Here, so here's our debug module. Um, can't use that anymore. We have this category stuff. Let's see if we can save the categories just to have it. Hero.cpp. Okay. Let's take out see that. Source. Gameplay debugger. We don't need that. And the module, can't use that anymore. 
delete binaries, generate project files again. Ow. Okay. Let's open up Visual Studio. Ugh, we're definitely in over our head, <laughs> as usual. Um, okay, let's do a clean. Let's do a rebuild. Uh, let's just look up some more research. Uh, UE4. Adding to gameplay debugger. So that's the same documentation. Okay, so there is a video. I'm going to watch that on my own time, I guess. Um, okay. build.cs, yeah, that makes sense. Forgot to take that out. Let's try again. Okay, so far so good. So I'm glad we were able to spend like t almost two hours um, accomplishing nothing. That's usually how life goes, but that's okay. We're learning, I guess. <laughs> um. I don't know. I wish I wish I was just better. Excuse me. Ah. So everything it seems okay. I hope this video was helpful. It's from over three years ago. I don't know if that means it's uh, outdated. Quick mini tutorial on extending the gameplay debugger with your own class. I've used it during grass for AI related code, but it's a general purpose debugger utility. Really, give it a go. Ah, please finish. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
I think we did this correctly because it seems like it's compiling. Ah. <sighs> Come on, you can do it, Unreal. I believe. <laughs> do we have? Let me look into Discord. don't have an answer yet I don't think for our, uh, the uh, question on the Unreal Answer Hub no it takes a couple days I suppose mm -hmm. oh it has to rebuild everything. Okay, uh, I'm not. Go I'm gonna let it do its thing. I'm not gonna <laughs> make you guys watch all that, like 2,000 modules. Um, so I'm gonna end the live stream here. We didn't get anything done. <laughs> we tried to follow a few different tutorials. Um, even though nothing worked, I'll still link the uh, tutorials that I used for this uh, stream in the YouTube video, just so you can see it. Maybe you can follow it correctly. Uh, I don't know if it's just something I did wrong. Um, but also, just make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel if you haven't already. Uh, like the video, comment any questions or concerns, or just join the Discord server, ask any questions there. We, there's a bunch of different uh, subtopic channels on that server uh, about game development in general, so feel free to join. Uh, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you on the next stream. Bye!